Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Retro Bassin. Oh, I think it's gonna rain soon. We're uh, getting a little bit of mail today. Retro Bassin, kicking Ooh. some ass and wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray-Ban glasses. All right, so we're heading down to the beach tomorrow. Had a little bit of time to run over to the old retro mailbox, pick up some mail. We could do a little mail call today. Stick around. By the way, if this is your first time here at Retro Bassin and you like to fish it old school, I'm talking about classic rods, reels, lures equipment, and even mail from the golden era of bass fishing. Stick around, consider subscribing, and hit that bell icon. Otherwise, you won't know when we post a new video like this one. I need a topo, by the way. So the retro mailbox was overflowing just a little bit. I picked up a few things today. We've got a few more that are in the hopper. I've been uh, withholding, wanted to um, put up another video for you guys uh, in lieu of getting on the water. And I've got a few things to go through right now. Oh, okay. I do recall these. So one of our home lakes on Retro Bassin is notorious for schooling bass, and they've been pretty tough to catch. I've got a few baits that I've been using to target them, one of which is the man's Little George, another one a bait from Boone called the Boone Orang. I found these things online. This is from Uncle Josh. It's called the Spin Right. Check this thing out. What it looks like to me is sort of a mini Little George. This thing is gonna be money. I don't know what this thing weighs. Yes, I do know what it weighs. It weighs a half an ounce. So this is a half an ounce. I think most of those Little Georges, by the way, are more like three quarters or even one ounce. So this is a definitely a little smaller bait. That thing is gonna be money when those fish start schooling. So I've got them in silver. That one is in a white. Sort of grayscale pattern, that's pretty sweet. There's another one. That'll totally catch fish. I don't know how old these things are, by the way. Even the old crankbaits sound different in the box, it's crazy. So what do we have here? All right, like everything coming in today is way smaller than I was expecting. So this, I've got um, maybe a dozen or so of these vintage Hubbard Sparkle Tail crankbaits. I think it's still sold today by Eppinger, but this is the original and I did not expect it to be that small. That's almost like a little finesse crankbait. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, like a purple scale, that's sweet. Really nice looking green. Look at that. That's nice. Crawfish pattern. Oh, nice little perch. That thing will totally catch. And look at that. Nice little black scale. Oh. These are sweet, but they are definitely a lot smaller than, than I remember. So check that thing out. That is a good looking little mini, almost dare I say finesse crankbait. So there's the profile. I would say that is about two and a half inches. Look how thin she is. Nice little diving lip. And of course, that classic Hubbard tail. Um, a little weight to it. I think you could throw this thing on some creeks, some little rivers, and um, I think this would catch a bass or two. Huh. Something little. I'm not sure what. Ah, check that out. 
So this is another, it's like mini crankbait day on Retro Bass. And this is a bait from, um, I think it's Wright and McGill. It is called the Miracle Minnow. And this is the jointed version. Another tight, tiny little sweet looking, um, actually let's get the sparkle tail and look at these side by side. I must have had like small crankbaits on the mind. Uh, so there's the sparkle tail and there's the miracle minnow. Those are two actually pretty comparable baits, which is pretty funny. A little hook guard on this thing. Let's see if I can take it off without hurting myself. Ow! No, I can't. All right. Uh, so check those two things out. Those are pretty sweet little mini jointed crankbaits. Miracle Minnow and a Black Shore Minnow, and then this sort of black scale Sparkle Tail. But I've just got one of this, so I, uh, I'll have to be careful not to lose it. I see some headings. <laughs> All right. Who remembers this bait, the Hedden Zaragoza? This thing came in obviously just after the slow go craze where everybody was trying to fish a soft plastic jerk bait. Well, Hedden had a pretty cool idea at the time. They were gonna make a hard bait version of the Sluggo. That's basically what you have here. This thing is awesome. It comes equipped with two different treble hooks. It's got a jointed body and you absolutely fish this thing just like a Sluggo. That is pretty sweet. We've got Oh, old school package is coming apart, but that's okay. Okay, so, so there is the Hedden Zaragoza. Pretty sweet lines. It's got that classic Sluggo style flat head. Sort of boat shaped underbelly. I think this thing would absolutely catch fish. Of course, one of the beautiful things about a soft plastic jerkbait is its weedless nature. So I probably would reserve this for some of the more rocky lakes around Texas, rock ledges and such, where I'm not worried about getting all weeded up, but that thing's pretty sweet. Here's a new color, I guess new for 1993, G-Fleck. That's sort of like a blue-gray. Honestly, that's, that's gonna work, look at that. That is gonna look like a little blue back herring or something. That's awesome. Okay, here's from the NFL CC. So I recently joined the National Fishing Lure Collectors Club. I was so excited to go to a show they had up in, I think it was Springfield, their big national show, that ended up getting closed down, unfortunately, with all the craziness going on. So there is a local show coming up. I think it's in August in Temple. We're gonna try to do our best to get a little retro bass and booth there. Um, maybe sell a few TP hats as well. Check this out, but pretty cool organization. Uh, you can follow them on Facebook. They do send me this magazine every once in a while, which has got some pretty good inspiration. Um, some of this stuff is a little bit rich for my blood. I, I tend to be more of a fisher than just a, just a collector, but just the same, awesome history. And then here is the uh, NFL CC Gazette. <laughs> the Red Fin Minnow. I got a feeling these guys would have a heart attack if I fished with anything that was in here. <laughs> okay, here's my last incoming box. All I've got to say about this one is sun. I was inspired after doing the recent Roland Martin episode and I found this thing online. It is the Roland Martin Signature Series Big Bass Lure Tackle Box. So there's a pretty good picture of the man himself. And by the way, Roland's like 80 years old and he's still got that hair. I'm so jealous. And there, friends, are some signature Roland Martin baits. So I think uh, they look like pretty standard worms to me. But hey, 
it's rolling. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna fish it. So I mentioned this is my last piece of incoming mail and I do have a little bit of outgoing mail today as well. If you guys watch this channel, you know that when you fish at old school, sometimes the old tackle, um, well, it just ain't up for the test. There's been a little chatter in the comment section that some of my reels, um, well, they sound a little rough, which is true. So my buddy, uh, Todd Keaton, who is like Mr. Daiwa, he said uh, I should go ahead and box up some of my old school Daiwa reels and send them his way. One of my favorites was this. It's a, my Daiwa Procaster reel. It was probably like one of you know the first Daiwa reels I had. When you cast this thing out, it reels just fine, but it does, it screams a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. So I've got a few of these boxed up for Todd. Um, he said that he would be uh, happy to, to give them a, a little retro refurb. So, so thanks buddy for that. And by the way, speaking of Todd, if you want to check out a pretty cool uh, group on Facebook, go to The Tackle Box. Todd set it up about a year ago and it is sort of a gathering place for folks uh, like me who like to fish at old school. He's been doing a ton with flip tail worms which are back in production after many, many years. So head on over to the Tackle Box and tell Todd that Retro Bassin sent you. While we're making some shameless plugs, if you want a sweet old school gas station logo hat like this, head on over to Texas Provisions. That is TXProvisions.com. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassin.